Hello Hungry Fam, let's make quick and easy dessert for Ganesh festival and that is Mohan Thar. And the ingredients we need are Besan, Silver Varak, Sugar, Dry Fruits, Cardamom Powder, Kesar, Mava, Milk and Ghee. For making the Danedar Besan, first sieve the Besan in a bowl. To that add 2 tablespoon milk and 4 tablespoon of ghee. Mix it with your fingers only to make mini crumbs. Keep rubbing the flour between your fingers so that you get a perfect texture which comes together when you hold it and breaks easily when you press it. Once you get this texture, keep it aside. Then add 1 cup ghee in a pan. To that, add the danedar besan and keep stirring and roasting till besan is browned enough. It will take approximately 20 to 25 minutes. You get this danedar besan easily in the market, specially to make mohan thal. You can use that as well. Once the besan is brown, add 2 to 3 tablespoons of buffalo milk into it. Then immediately the batter becomes fluffy and airy. This is exactly what we want. Keep roasting it for more 5 minutes. Then keep it aside. Then in another pan, melt 1.5 cups of sugar. Add 1 fourth cup of water so that it doesn't burn. Once it melts, add few cases strands into it. Mix it. Then add half cup of mava. Crush and then add it. Mix it well and let it dissolve. Then add this mava mixture into the basin batter. Add the sugar and mava mixture in batches. Mix it well. The color looks spot on. Finally add half teaspoon of cardamom that is elaichi powder. Mix it and let it cool for 5 minutes. Then the basin mixture slightly becomes crumbly. Then transfer it into a tray lined with baking paper. Flatten it out with a spatula and let it set on room temperature for 4-5 to five hours. Then demold the Mohan Thal from the tray. It comes out very easily. Then apply ghee on top of the Mohan Thal. And add the silver varak over it. Adding varak is completely optional but that is how it is in the Mithai shop. Then cut it into square pieces and serve it. You can store this mithai up to a week in a ziplock container. Garnish it with more dry fruits and just look at that. Looks exactly like any mithai shop. It's very easy to make. Yes, it takes a bit time but it's all worth it. It's perfectly sweet. The aroma is very roasty. The mithai literally melts in your mouth. It's crumbly from the outside and soft from the inside. Exactly how it needs to be. Looks very beautiful. You should definitely try it out and serve it to your guests. They will definitely be impressed. Try this delicious recipe and let me know your feedback. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Rate Hunger Plans. Also click on the bell icon to get all the post notifications. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more amazing videos.